All right, guys, here we go. Matthew asked if I would uh, buff the box and record it, so I'm not gonna record it for you guys. Um, so I pre-ordered, I got the pre-order card. I ain't gonna lie, I already busted this open in the parking lot because I wanted to see what it was. I ended up getting the Mothra. Nice pretty card. All right, man, let's get to this. Like I've been excited for this set to come out. I've been playing all these cards on Arena for a while, so I'm really excited to actually start making the decks that I play on Arena. Start playing y'all with them. So let's get at it. I'm gonna run through these pretty quick though. I'm not gonna go through all the commons and all that, just cause it's gonna take entirely too much time if I do that. First up, let's see what we get. Uh, token. Shark Typhoon, <laughs> of course. Wow, that card's nuts. Glowstone, yeah, that's a good one. Now I did open up some collector's packs today. I tell you what, they were the bomb. I got a, uh, I actually pulled one of the dark death coronas out of the collector's pack also had a uh, uh, fiend artisan pulled that out of there uh, pulled a Garuda I mean pulled the one uh, black white cat dude I forget his name but I pulled him also so they were those uh, collector's packs are pretty good Death, o Death Oasis, Rumbler, oh cool, me and Matthew were talking, we really like this cartoon art man, it's pretty sweet, they're, they're pretty cool, if you ever get this guy, keep him, he is great. And no, I'm not separating these because I'm going to go through them all anyway. Um, I actually collect the sets. So I have a binder that's going to get each card that is made for the set. Um, me and Matthew were talking about that too. And apparently I might have to have like four binders. With this. That might get a little, a little crazy, but we'll see what goes on with it. Even though these things have the rips to them, man, they're still kind of hard to open. Which is cool, I guess. That way you're not bending up your last card like you used to. Got a foil cavern, cavern whisperer, and then I got mythos. Good card. Mamba. General's enforcer. This dude is beast. Humans can have fun again. This dude is beast. You get him with some of the legendary humans and it's just, it's unreal. And then pouncing, short shark. I think this is like one of the only sharks that doesn't have flying in this set. I know there's not many. Most of them have flying, so it's kind of weird. Flying sharks, awesome. Let's see, we got 
Dinosaur counter this time. Z Dasher Octopus. Void Breaker. <laughs> There's your uh, the other version of the, the Death Corona. Huntmaster Liger. Pretty good card. Cunning Knight Bonder. She's pretty good. Nothing really else there. <clears throat> so like the cards I'm looking for for my builds are more the the uh, yeah Fiend Artisan um, Garuda of course. This is ultimatum. Migration path, always a good one. <laughs> the flare, yeah, that card's kind of ridiculous. Sparks. Got the blind card with nothing on it. It's a nice little Night Squad Commando foil. Ooh. Another Mythos card. Another cool cartoon. God, these packs are tough, man. Maybe if I actually used a pull tab. Been nothing, so that's good. Being a soldier. Ah, there he is. This dude's pretty, pretty cracked out, man. We were just talking about him earlier too. We're actually surprised he's not banned yet, but we'll see how that goes. Monarch Zero, the Fox, when you cycle for the 1 1 counter. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay two when you do. Uh, Thunder Main deals two damage to target creature and you gain two life, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I got some tokens this time. Since a lot of this stuff runs on tokens, yeah, kind of cool to have those. Blackwater. Oh, there he is. There he is. 
this guy is pretty cool. Um, I don't know about using him as a companion. Because um, his companion is each non-land card in your starting deck shares a creature, or shares a card type. So, I mean, like, if you're running all creatures, then, yeah, it's cool. But when he comes into play, you choose a card type, and it costs one less to cast those spells. So he's pretty cool. I plan on running him in my blue-black-green deck. Uh, lockdown. Humans you control get plus one, plus one. Pay two. Tap two on tapped humans you control. Tap target creature and opponent controls. Pretty good. Same. Does four damage. This dude's pretty decent. I like him. Whenever this creature mutates, return target creature card from with command with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So he's black white's gonna be pretty good. As you notice, there's been a lot of these, a lot of soldiers. All right, Labyrinth Raptor. Whenever, this, whenever a creature you control with a menace becomes blocked, with menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. So that's, he's pretty decent. Crystal for your three manas. Unbreakable Bond. Return card, target creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. From your graveyard to the battlefield with a lifelink counter on it. It's pretty sweet. This one's pretty good. If anybody runs uh, Vigilance. Because this takes your Vigilance cards that have high um, defense. And if you put this on there, they get a plus one, plus one, then their their power is the same as their defense. So if you're running Vigilance, you need to run this card. I mean, there's a lot of really good cards that are in the commons, but I just don't want to waste the time going through all those. So we'd be here a long time if I was doing that. Besides, I got another box open too, so. I'm gonna be box counting. Hey, look at that. More counters. Cool. And haha, -ha, there he is. Fiend Artisan. Sweet. Most expensive card in the deck. Most expensive card in the set, right there. That's a bad boy. So. Basically, pay X and a black or green, sacrifice a creature. You can go through your library and find a creature card with converted cost X or less, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. So yeah, he's sick. Like him, like him a lot. Another crystal, well, that'll probably go in my deck. Will of the All Hunter. What, what's this one do? Target creature gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. If it is blocking, instead it gets plus two, it gets two plus one, plus one counters on it. Oh, that's even better. And cycling two. This one's pretty good. Life Lake three, three.
the human soldier. Right after that. Oh, and then we get the foil one. Uh, of the dude that you do the creature type. Costs one less. Nice. Oh, man. Two rares. I got a foil rare and a regular rare. This is the one for mountains, plains, and swamps. Easy prey to store destroy target creature with converter mana cost two or less cycle two and blue red and white ah oh, sweet pretty cool comic book art now this is one of the dudes I was talking about if you're going to run vigilance so you put that on top of him man and there you go now you got a 5-5 five five. Like, it's pretty sweet. Squad Commander. Oh, and I got another, another comic book. Pretty sweet. It's a pretty good pack. Go like that. Alright. It's about time for a Garuda. I need to pull a Garuda. I pulled a Garuda in one of the one of the um, collectors packs earlier today too. So out of the collectors packs, the the best cards I pulled was I pulled the Fiend. I pulled um, the Space Godzilla Death Corona. I pulled a Garuda. Um, God, what else did I pull? Pulled some pretty crazy stuff. I'll show you that after I get done with this. Apex of Thunder. Cool card. All art. This dude's pretty cool, man. So, like, Disenchantment, if y'all know what Disenchantment does, it's, it, it's, uh, every time you draw a card, you put a counter on it. Remove eight counters, you create an 8-8 eight, eight blue Kraken creature token. That's pretty slick. This dude's pretty cool. Another cool all art. Been a pretty good box so far. Ain't gonna lie. I need to pull like a Garuda, a Luminous Moth. can't complain. I got the Fiend. Whirlwind of Thought. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Pretty slick. Rescuer. Whenever you cycle another card for the first time each turn, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Creature mutates, create a 3 3 green beast creature token. That's pretty good. Evolving wilds. Got a little of those. Uh, the revol uh, evolving wilds are a dime a dozen, but still, it's a good card to throw in your deck. Especially running multiple colors. Another blank one. Yay. I wish they give us codes for like arena or something on these blank ones. Ooh. There's a uh, foil mamba. Ha ha. This is the card here, buddy. Like, this one's pretty slick, too. So, whenever a creature leaves with tokens on it, you can take those tokens off. And, uh,. So, whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters onto this card, the Ozloth, or Ozloth, or whatever it's called. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if this card has counters on it, you may, put, you may move all counters from this card onto creature. Like, for one, that's busted. 
because you are going to put out so many counters on things. It's ridiculous. So this is another really, really, really good card. Death Dweller. Return up to two target creature cards with total converted mana cost of three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put Death Touch counters on each of them. That's pretty tight. Then put a Menace counter on either of them. So you get two creatures come out, both with Death Touch, and then you gotta put them. You get to put a Menace counter on one. That's pretty slick. Lurker, he's pretty cool. Whenever this creature mutates, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty slick. Profit. Land or mana generator. Put top two cards of your library into the graveyard. Ball the wilds. Let's see what we got here. Got the Red Mythos. Deals 5 damage divided as you choose amongst any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. And if white or blue was spent um, until the next turn, they can't attack or block and their activated abilities can't be activated pretty good another crystal the red white black one flourishing fox whenever you cycle another creature put a 1-1 one -one counter on flourishing fox all right another general's enforcer can't beat that now I'm telling you white black humans is gonna be pretty sick this time Pretty sick. I plan on making a white black human deck. Get some more counters. So apparently, you're going to need them. So it's cool that I got a stockpile going here. Drink Cove. Got a foil forest. And then. Another ultimatum. Search your library for up to three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of the one of those cards. Shuffle that card into your library. You may cast the other two cards without paying their mana cost. And then exile the ultimatum. That's pretty good. Ivy element. You know, basically uh, tap as many lands as you want, give it 1-1 one, one counters. Void Breaker again. Yeah. When you cycle Void Breaker, put Death Touch counter on target creature you control. So, I mean, you can either put an 8-8 Death Touch creature out there or else you can give somebody else Death Touch. Uh, I got the Hunt, Hunt Master Liger cartoon. Pretty good comic book. I really like this card. Put a counter, put a 1 1 counter and lifelink counter on target creature. Like, that's pretty slick for common. Just a quick little, let me smack you around a little bit. Another human soldier. Jungle Hollow. Oh, Winota. Dude, this card is slick. We'll get to her in a minute. Oh, Blazing Volley. Nice foil. All right, Winona. <laughs> I got a deck with her in it, and she's pretty fun. 
Uh, so whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them into the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in random order. Like, she is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So you run her, you want run that one, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, she's the one and two red. Her zero ability is put out to one one elemental creatures with haste. So you got her out, you pop those two creatures, you get to look at 12 cards and grab a human. Sanctuary Smasher, First Strike, Cycle. Uh, so, Grim Dancer. Grim Dancer enters the battlefield with your choice of two different counters on it from among Menace, Death Touch, and Lifelink. So he's a 3 3 that you can put Death Touch and Lifelink on. That's pretty slick. And there's the uh, more comic book art. I'm telling you, our comic book art's pretty sweet in these. Well, it looks like we're getting close to halfway. Hope my phone can last up the whole time. Got it on the charger, but I don't know if it's charging it quick enough. Uh, this is the companion. If a source you control with an odd converted mana cost would cause damage to a permanent or player, it deals double damage to that permanent or player instead. So yeah, this is the companion where your deck has to be all odd number, odd convert of mana cost. Let's see again. This dude's not too bad. The 2-4. Um, when he mutate, when he mutates, uh, look at the top card. No, that's if you tap him. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, you may put it into the battlefield. If you do not put the card into the battlefield, then put it into your hand. So that's pretty good. Whenever this creature mutates, 3-3 three, three again. This monstrous egg is pretty good for a 1. It's a 0-2. Whenever this creature mutates, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So if you're running mutate decks, like you might want to have them in there. Mutate's going to be interesting though, but there's a lot of different stuff besides mutate to worry about in this set. Uh, like, I mean, I've I've milled people and not even tried to with decks I've built online, so. You get got root out there and it's, it's some fun. Yeah, I got the, got the uh, foil when this guy mutates, put a 1-1 one, one counter on and gain two life. So that's always a good one. Inspire ultimatum. You'll, this target player gains five life, deals five damage to any target, then you draw five cards. Uh, that's a pretty good one. The crystal weaponize the monsters. Sacrifice the creature, weaponize the monster, deals two damage to any target. That's kind of weak, I think. But this guy's fun. You can either give him flying or first strike. 2 2. He's pretty funny. I've seen him a lot. I gotta 
that Kraken token. No. Companion. What is this? As each game begins, you may place one card from your com with your one card with companion here as your starter deck meets the conditions, you may cast it from here. Oh, I guess it's like a place keeper for your your companion your companion on the playing field. Dirge bat. When this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. He's pretty good for a four four three three or four mana. Flash flying three three. He's pretty good for four. Whenever Horn Bash Mentor enters the battlefield, put a trample counter on target non human creature you control. Uh, two colorless and a green tap. Put a 1 1 counter on each creature you control with trample. So that's pretty pretty good one. Escape protocol. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay one when you do exile target artifact or creature you control then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control <coughs> <coughs> and back for more return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield when you do it fights up to one target creature you don't control each deals damage equal to its power to the other Pretty good one. Falls and wilds. Uh -huh. This box isn't too bad. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. But it's got vigilance, so it's pretty cool. You get a land if you start getting mana screwed. Hey, look at that. Another human soldier. Another ultimatum. <laughs> Destroy all non-land permanents your, your opponent controls. That's pretty slick. Get them all out of here. Leave the stampede. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal any number of creature cards from among them and put the revealed cards into your hand, put the rest to the bottom of your library in any order. Hollywild Symbiote. Uh, each creature spell you control, each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if, if it has mutate. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw the card, then discard a the card. So that one's pretty cool too. Flying creatures you control with flying have spells so your opponent casts that target this creature costs two more. So that's not bad. Cost an additional cost to cast this spell. Discard X card. Target player draws X cards. Channeled force deals X damage to up to one, up to one target creature or planeswalker. That's all right. Uh, this is the dude that gets protection from odd or even. So you choose odd or even when he comes into the into the battlefield and then he has protection from that protection from that mana cost ivy element another grower lock down again crack 
cartoon art. I'm put all my cartoon arts aside so Matthew can look through them. Alright, come on Garuda. Garuda would be pretty slick right now. I have three so far. Wellspring. Companion, no card in your starter deck has more than one of the same mana symbol in the mana cost. So, tap, add, white, blue, black, red, green. This mana can be spent to pay generic mana cost. Rooting. Four cards. Channel Force. This dude's been pretty fun too. He's a one two for one. Um, when it dies, deals two damage to the opponent, you gain two life. It's pretty fun for one. Fire Prophecy. <laughs> this one's pretty good. I use this in my Winota deck. Um, deals three damage to target creature. You may put a card from your hand into the to the bottom of your library. If you do so, draw the card. It's pretty good. the advertise arena but why don't you give us some codes man that would be awesome all right let's see what we got here oh well, got the uh wish giver draw four cards foil gem razor whenever this creature mutates destroy target artifact or enchantment of an opponent controls it has reach and trample pretty good Swallow hole and additional cost to this uh, additional cost to cast this spell tap an untapped creature you control exile target tap creature put a 1-1 one, one counter on the creature tap to pay the spells additional cost this is a uh, Dustfang Mentor. When Dustfang Mentor enters the battlefield, put a life leak counter on a target non human creature you control. One in a black tap, put a 1 1 counter on each creature you control with life leak. Pretty good. And this one is tap. This creature deals X damage to any target where X 